beautiful world, Auction Queen here, loud, live, and in color. Yes, this is a couple of days after my third spinal surgery. And I wanted to let you all in on a little post-op. First thing I wanted to let you know, after, right after spinal surgery, you will have... A drainage. This drainage is connected in my back. This collects all the fluid from the uh, spinal bone area, all the blood and everything. This absorbs it. So you won't get any blood clots in your back area. The next thing I'm gonna let you all know, it's been so long, I apologize, but I told you all I've been having some health issues and this is the thing. My spine was bent, and I'll get into those details of what happened later on. Now, I have an IV. Connected in my neck. They were connected in my hand and in my arm, but the veins busted and uh, the medicine and everything wasn't going into the um, things, so they um, they removed it, and they and they already had put this in my neck during surgery. They used this one during surgery, so they end up connecting my medications to this one. But this is the only one I have right now. Hey, beautiful people. Okay. When you come out of spinal surgery, you will have a pain button for that you can push on your own. When the light is green, you can push this on your own. It's like about every, I think it's about every 10 minutes. And you can give yourself pain medication after spinal surgery. So they won't have to keep running in and out. The other thing is, well, there's two more things I wanted to share with you all. That you have to have this cord right here. This is a catheter cord. You have to have this catheter. The next thing these are to keep your legs from getting blood clots. I took them off for a minute, a few minutes, but I will be putting them back on. And you put them around your legs and they keep uh, like kind of massaging your legs every few minutes. I don't know if I should be using, oh, I'm okay. I'm using the front camera. So this is one of them. I hope it's recording it. <laughs> Hi, I miss y'all. Let's see if I can. Oh no, it won't let me turn the camera around now. Okay, but this is one, and I have to push the air out before I put it on. Oh no, the other one had.
this is the other one right here. So yes, uh, these massage your legs and keep your legs from getting blood clots. And if you notice the way I'm sitting up, this is uh, about the third day after. Um, it's not too bad. I have so much information. Oh, let me get some. I have so much information for when I get home. Because like I said, this is my third spinal surgery. So I can um, give you all some pointers. But yeah, that was the first thing I wanted to share was... Um, but I wanted you all to see the staples. My first surgery, I had 45 staples in my back. And they went through my stomach also to get to my spine. But they didn't put staples in my stomach. They glued my stomach down. Both of those healed well. I had no problem with that at all. I um my I want to tell you all about my first two surgeries in another video. But yes, this is my third one and what they did this time, they extended this box that they put into my spine and they connected it to my my memory pelvis. They connected it to my pelvis with some screws and things. Please um, disregard. Please don't look at my face and everything. Everything is kind of messed up since I'm up here. But um, anyways, um, yeah. Loud, live, and in color, baby. All right. So... Um, it's some more things I want to share with you all, but my mind has went blank. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make, I'm going to take some notes. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take notes of some things that I want to share with you all about this spinal surgery. And then I won't be lost and confused. And I wanted you all to actually see the actual let me see yeah because I'm not going to be able to put it back on so I'm going to have to wait for somebody to help me to take it off and then um, they can get the bandage back on but I wanted you all to see it I haven't seen it either so we can look at it together I don't miss y'all so much and what else please like comment share and subscribe I haven't been able to do any auctions lately because of my health issues, but I will be back on the scene soon. And I miss you all. And everyone have a blessed